All right. I love that when the starter or the manager of the track gives the thumbs up. Time to go racing, man. Roger Older, Adam Preston, getting ready to get it on. A couple of GMs, one a 69 Chevrolet Camaro, the other a 67 Chevrolet Nova. Pick your favorite, man. Uh-oh. That ain't good. There you go. Clean her out, Raj. Get that guy a can of starting fluid. And Marcus Burt said, that was a dry burnout. No wonder she's lugging down. But anyway, it's good. He's got some heat in the tire. He's going to back her up. Preston will sit over there. In the 69 Chevrolet Camaro hailing out of Caneyville, Kentucky. PLR power, 481 cubic inches. Proline power in that car, the Chevrolet. So he's got Noonan power in the right lane. It all the time. You Here we go. They're in, man. Oh, they both hit the tire. Go get them, Raj. No, don't, Raj. It's too late now. Preston goes 475 with a victory lap at 174 miles per hour. Roger Holder went out there, got his job done. He went 099 on the reaction time to 101. 123 when the tires started shaking and baking, and it was done. He had to coast down there. Jack Green will come up now out of Knoxville, Tennessee. 2017 Cadillac STSV, CTSV, excuse me. In the left lane's Tim Dutton out of Northwood, New Hampshire. It was. Hampshire. We're going to see Jack Green over here, right hand side, going to be defending the number 13 qualified position. He's got a little bit of work, about two and a half tenths to uh, pick up. As Tim Dutton is ahead of him, number four qualifier, 377-0. A very nice uh, shot of the Dutton machine over there from Flo. Is, it is setting out, looking pretty in the Georgia, South Georgia sun. So we'll see here. This is round number two of eliminations for Pro 275. Someone's going away with a bunch of cash. Uh, a crown and a throne. That's why it's called Battle of the Thrones. Zipping the tire. Number wow, four. there it goes. 480 with a tire spinning victory at 169 miles per hour. Jack Green gets the victory there. Didn't give up, man. Didn't get the reaction time. Got the 60 foot. Got the 330. Then he went right after it and got the win. Here comes the 57 Chevrolet of Otto Schultz. Coming up here out of Yorkville, Illinois. Beautiful car, man. We'll take the first four pairs of X275. First four pairs of X275 lanes, please. First four pairs of X275 lanes as we are coming through. E2 of Pro 275. 
Look at Bud Andy. It must be Halloween getting close because he's running like he's on the stick down there, Bud Andy. He'll back up Otto Schultz. Yorkville, Illinois, 57 Chevrolet, 210 model. Brian Holder, Brylin over there in the left lane, the birthday boy this weekend at 25 years old. Out of Bakersfield, California, just watch his dad go into a pedal fest. Now, I would tell you, after watching, like, the first four, three pairs do that, I would be on my game. I would. I mean, you turn it down too much, and then the converter's not happy, and then it's worse, almost worse than overpower in the car. And Brylin shows his way to the stripe down there in the left lane at 440. Otto Schultz just coasting down there after he struck the tire. So Brylin Holder keeps it going for the Holder family. But Andy, can you hear me, but Andy? It's all right. Make sure you check that next time so it don't happen again. Look at look at Brylin's little one over there. See the little holder? Look how happy. Got the headphones on, hanging out with grandma. I shouldn't say grandma. I mean, she does not look like a grandma, but she is. She loves those kids. That kid is probably you, little holder. How you doing? Yeah, look at that. He's a fighter. Got that lip up there, and he's like, yeah, you want some of this, buddy? God, if I brought my baby pictures and it reminds me of me when I was a kid I was a lover though young holder must be nice at that age to have a harem All right, something down on the track down yonder. So that gives us time to go see Brent. Oh, there you go. Otto's car didn't make it down to the end. But Andy must have not put the fuel in that thing or the alcohol. So they're pushing it all the way.
Great shot of Woodruff there from Flow Racing. You see the intensity in his eyes. And that's not because of the car's fast and all that. It's because the guy he has to crew with. <laughs> Brent, and he goes right along with it. Like, instead of giving me, can you hear this, Tooch? Oh, Woody, all those years. Great driver, great drag racer. Loves it, man. That guy is one of the best out of Missouri. And there's his crew chief. Get him on there. Let him say hi to his family at home. Go ahead. Look at that flag with the ex-Marine behind it. That is beautiful shot right there. Semper Fi, baby. Check that out. True American, all American, apple pie, Chevrolet Corvette, and a guy that went to war for us. Thank you. Let's go. We need the first four pairs of X275. The first four pairs of X275. All right, we are good to go. Make sure your safety equipment's on. Let's get them fired. Well, I'm just saying what I'm being told, dude, so be nice before I send someone from Illinois down there to show you the state. Scary when you had the beard, sir, the clean-shaven print. I don't know. Okay, folks, so what we have going on, we have a medical emergency on the top end. We had to pull the ambulance away to do that. There was a miscommunication here. We thought that we were pulling EMT, but we have the ambulance taking care of the medical emergency, so it's going to be just a minute here. I still love you, though, Brent. Hey, Brent. Oh, no, not those two together. <laughs> Old Sully and him, they drank the same water back in the day. You can tell. Except Sullivan quit drinking it a little earlier than him. Hey Jeff. Is that Jeff? Is that the original Nine Fingers Nizer down there? I haven't seen him in years. How you doing, Jeffrey? Don't hide him. Don't hide that guru of engine building out of Texas. I know him. I can hear the power and he don't even have it running. Nice to see you, young man. Okay, so what we're going to do is while we're getting the emergency taken care of, we're going to uh, 
go ahead and get our track prep done here so that we don't have to do our two pairs track prep, then go back to LDR. So we're going to get our track prep going, be back at it. We'll run through our last two pairs of pro, and then we'll go into LDR. Now would be a great time to tell them about the eight cars in each category. You guys will do a picture shoot. When we get down to eight cars in each category, there'll be a picture shoot for each category in the staging lanes back here. Then we will go, it's, well, we were on time for like 5.45. I don't know if the time's going to be correct anymore, but that's about when we will start going with the semifinals. So that's kind of the itinerary right now. So Sullivan down there, is he working with Woody this weekend? Is he is good. Isn't like a Charles Daniels thing, right? Where you sold your soul to the devil. <laughs> good guys, man. There's Woody. How you doing, Woodster? Nice to see you, young man. I remember back when Woody was cutting his teeth in this stuff. Nice to see him that he's got himself a Corvette. A Missouri yellow pages to sit on. Lift him up over the steering wheel and see what's going on down track. One of the best, right there. So they're going to do a little prep, track, track, excuse me, prepping of the track while we have that medical emergency, and that's what we're down for. So we apologize. We're waiting for our ambulance to get back into its position. And with that, we'll get back into more racing. That's the second, hey, young man, the second spit this weekend. I see you didn't get past your shirt We drive tech. We drive the industry. Going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all-in-one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see Fuel Tech everywhere. All right. She wants the foot race. Hold on a second. Let me find her a, a partner to race against. 
That's all right. Those are the 2600 glue shoes. They'll work. And Sydney out there doing what he loves doing, putting a little fly paper down. I think it's more fun just to drive the go-kart or the golf cart than pulling the lever for the glue. All right, so a few more minutes, and we'll be back into service. Make sure your safety equipment's on. Each driver, we're getting our ambulance back. That's what it was. We're waiting for the safety crew to put their self back into the ambulance and where it belongs. They had an issue. They went down to take care of it. A few minutes, we'll be, Sydney's back, so that's a good sign. That means the glue's down, the flies are trapped, and we are ready to get ready to rock and roll again. Please put on all your safety equipment. Get strapped in good. I know when you wait a long time, sometimes you miss something here or there, but most important is use the driver. Make sure everything is good, buttoned up, and ready to go.
There we go. All right, so we're getting back for Pro 275. Here comes the Woodster, Mark Woodruff, out of Arnold, Missouri, in the yellow Chevrolet Corvette. He's got a single pass here. To put him into the semis. So that'll be cool to see as he will back up and uh, give her a shot down track in the left lane. All right, so Woody in and was ready. What a run. 386, won 197 miles per hour. Ooh, that was a good shot for the Woodster there. That's probably one of the fastest runs of the afternoon for him. I mean, he went 87.6 in qualifying. Out so he's gone 86, found a hun. A little more than a hun, but he found some. Good job for them, right? All right, let's see what the legend Steve Roden has tuned up for our homie, Wally Farbeggy. You're right about that, Barrett. Farbeggy down here on the right side. Left lane going to be uh, Lou Scorantino. Nanut, New York, the 2008 Chevrolet Corvette. Beautiful car right down there. The pack of Hawaiian rolls over here. King's Hawaiian. Yeah. Wally Farbeke. That's wa Aloha. King's Hawaiian rolls. Yeah, I know. Wally been eating a lot of them. They are. They got butter and, like, maybe butter garlic ones. Scortino. That's his nickname, Butters. Boudreaux. All right, here we go. Wally Farbakey, ready to go. He'll be in the right side. The Aloha Construction Barrington, Illinois, 88 Mustang. Legends Racing. Steve, too tall Steve down there behind the car from Legends, the owner of that company, along with his father. Here's Lou Scortino. Uh oh. Wally That's got up on a chip Wally. fast. He's done. Yeah, he, well, he got on the chip and it just poof. Man, that's not good. That's we get uh, plague pushed back maybe just a little bit. Ooh, look at Big Marquise over there. You guys just push uh, wall either. Yeah. Either. Hey, make, make sure. There you go. Thank you so much. Let the other two come on into the puddle. All right. We're going to have LDR coming at you here. We got the category changed over. Peter Volpe coming forward. He's going to be taking on DJ McCain coming at you. The Black Plague Machine. Ira Mac owns a hot rod, and the man's Ira around here somewhere. He's probably watching, uh, watching out from the motorhome down there along the fence. 
Or does that thing sound good? It's a I'm, good power plant in that I'm thing. not a fan of the uh, Zumi Nitrous, but it would sound better if it was bullhorns. Yeah, well, that's what I'm... It sounds good, but it would sound better if it was bullhorns. They sound, they sound good with the big nitrous motors. It's a tough break for Wally. So we're going to get the nitrous purged off over here, the right-hand side. The Pat Musi Power Machine, your number two qualifier, 389-8187. They've had a runner-up victory at the Battle of the Thrones, the original. And uh, looking to get back to the top. They're number three in points. They was number one in points. They said, look, we're going back for the points. We're going back for the crown. We're going back for the throne. We're getting back in our get back. Pre-stage on, here comes Volpe. Let's see what Ryan McCain has in store here. Zipping the tires. And Volpe with a capital V at 435, getting the victory right there at 171 miles per hour. DJ, would he strike the tire? Yeah, I mean, he, he left first and it just sort of zipped the tire. You shifted the gear and it still was moving the tire. And didn't want any part of it, right? There's not a lot of pedal on all the uh, nitrous power there. It'll bring up Jabir. He'll be over there in the Ball Ground Georgia based racing team, but they're from. So we good to go here. They were checking the uh, track for transmission fluid, but we're all clear. We're ready to go back racing. Get the Q80 hot rod fired up. It'll be Yaber Almagrabi taking on Paul Gargas. Number 14 qualifier, 409 with a five. Robber, Al Magrabi. Paul Gargas in the right hand side, the back to back to back champ. Trying to be the uh, like the 96 Bulls here, just going for complete domination and limited drag radial. Well, Jabbar is going to have his hands full here with one of the best out of Remlip, Alabama, the 69 Camaro of Gargas. Number three qualifier coming to the line here in the right lane. The old red 9, 69, twin turbo, 540 cubic inch, big block Chevrolet. Jabbar has the Hemi with 4,000 horsepower, he'd like you all to know.
So here we go, Ford versus Chevrolet in this round of ODR. Outlaw Drag Radio, Jabbar trying to get him on the top. Man, it was going to be close. 401 to a 402. What a drag race. Look at the reaction time, 092 to a 100 for Jabbar. Jabbar had him at 105 straight in that 60 foot out, or the reaction time right out at 60 feet. Jabbar had him at 330. Gargas poured the coals to that thing to go 401. A hundredth quicker at 190 miles per hour. It's one of those deals. When you're going to get the time slip, you're going to go, if I was just a little bit better on the tree, that would be going my way. As he, he ate it up at the 60 foot. He was down three mile an hour, so not a lot of a, uh, not a lot of space out there. And now, the thrill, Billy Shane Stack, and the points. Well, it lead. all happens so fast in the eighth of a mile. Yeah. If your stuff's running to par and you're in the category against each other, and they both leave the line, it should be a good race each every time with these guys. Yeah. Neither. I mean, they left so close together. You didn't know anything over there. You just were like, "Oh." He's ahead, he's ahead, and you're like, I think I can, I think I did. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Here we go. How about uh, the button pushing of Jamie Hancock right here? Apalaki, Apalika? Is that how you say that? Apalika. Say Apalika. They had the front end off there in the uh, staging lanes. Looks like they might have given a little more front end travel to try to uh, get that thing moving before it gets on top of the tire there when all the power, Pat Musi power comes in. And Thrill Billy going to uh, try to just pour the coals to it, carrying about six or seven miles an hour on the top end. You remember when he put that billet piece in there and he took the nose off? God, it just looks like one slug of aluminum. It was a cool deal. That yeah, was years back. Got the throne on display out there in the uh, Thrill Billy Mart, as we affectionately call it. Well, they'll be good. The guys have raced together for many years, both coming out of Alabama, one out of Harvest on the right side. Let's see how he does. Shane Stack and Jamie Hancock. Jamie Hancock out of town, man. He's going all for the marbles down there at 4099, 179. Problems, what, what did you see on that? I mean, I saw the front end come off of Hancock there in the staging lanes, and they was doing some front shock adjustment. Did what they needed to do. It was definitely slower to the 60. He went 105, and Shane Stack, right when the power came in, the tire went away, and that'll end his chase for the double throne of Shane Stack. Hancock and company so far making the right calls when they need it. I said, look, we might be racing right now here in the sun, and that's it's the racetrack we got to get. We got to race what we got. Absolutely, and that is uh, par for the course, and that is um, what each and every one of them should do. Keep records, see what the sun is, see how you ran when you ran out in the sun yesterday. Track conditions have been phenomenal as they bring up the Michiganer. Greg Blevins Jr. will be over there out of Fenton, Michigan, the left lane in that 69 Chevrolet Camaro. They're both 69s. The black, white skunk stripe machine of Mitch Mika, Matt Mika, and Norby Mika, the dad. It's a three team deal over there for them. The two boys and their father is the big block Chevrolet out of Palatine, Illinois, backs up. 4.004 in qualifying. They've been getting good with this. Thing. They've been getting after it, and we just saw uh, Hancock and them. They slowed it down about a tenth, and that was all it needed to do, you know, slowing it down sometimes. We say slowing it down a tenth really isn't slowing it down a lot, but you just got to back it up a little bit and see what you got here. So i probably expect these two teams to just ease on into it a little bit, but you can see the just the very close similarities of the two cars. You got uh, Mika over there. That car's been around for a while. And then the newer build of uh, Blevins over here. Nice low slung, one piece front end. I mean, looking fantastic here. It looks like a real car. I'm saying a whole shot here is going to win this race. What do you think? He tried. He was trying. They didn't back that one down. 399, 3192 for Blevins Jr. He qualified his best, 398, 3192. Mitch, Mitch was on the tree, man. Mitch got himself 04 out of there. He was on the gate. He gated him. And then something went awry. And I'm not sure what it was. He spin the tire. I can't tell that far out. 
I mean, it's kind of a tough deal too, Al, because you look, you got your guy has about a tenth on you in qualifying, so you look, I can't slow it down too much, because then all he's got to do is back it up, and he's going to outrun me anyways. So here's a phenomenal lap out of the state of Michigan from Greg Z. I believe Greg Z is who I was told did the wrap on Halliprin's car. It's a good-looking car. White Lake, Michigan, 93 Mustang. Might be who did it. If not, that definitely looks like something he going to do because it is very, very nice. And I think I talked about this earlier, but the way that the stripe kind of hides really how long that sill plate is on the back wing. Like, if you look at it, you just you don't really tell that thing's like 47 foot long. No, that's nice looking. Uh huh. Yeah. Sounds like, sounds like something Jeffers wants to do here. Ernie. Damp here at 397, 3194. We got the Preston brothers out here helping them out, getting this thing tuned up. Missouri and Michigan coming at you here in limited drag radio. Oh, oh pedal fest. Go get him, Steve. Little touch, little, not a lot. Could still get him. Nope. Corvette. What was the designer, anyone, of the Corvette? Argus Duntoff. Yeah. He'll be thanking him for yep. that handling package later on tonight. Hey, my man's booger. Look at that. TJ, he's in round number two. My man. Well, your man's going to take on one of the most powerful Chryslers I know in small tire competition. His battle of the small blocks right here. You got the Gen 3 Hemi of Goss, and you got the 400-inch small block of uh, Gatlin. There's only one thing that keeps them apart. Capital One's got B, 16 capital spark plugs. E, capital S, oh. <laughs> left lane. I thought it was the extra set of spark plugs in the left lane. Oh, those are just uh, backup. Those are extra. You'll need this, though. Watch this car in the left lane. If this is your first time to witness Rob Goss, you're oh. going to enjoy it. Out of Sheridan, Wyoming. I think a truck company owner by trade, right? Western Transport. Western Transport. Thank you. No problem. I'll be here at least a couple more days. First four pairs of ultra to the lanes, please. First four pairs of ultra to the lanes. First four pairs of ultra street to the lanes. Here we go. Look at oh Goss. Look at Goss trying to get him. Oh, oh my man. God. TJ, my man. TJ Gatlin just took out one of the biggest hitters right there in competition. How about that? Come on, guys. Get on that flow vision. Thumbs up from that Oklahoma State. Let me get a get me, hey it's there's the missing it's the missing tire gauge. He ain't missing it now. Yeah, that was theirs. TJ Gatlin with a huge win. Chad Henderson, the supercharge. Madison, Alabama based 87 Buick Grand National, the roots blower. Getting ready to back up. Stevie Fast, the tuner down there. I heard he works for Pecans. All righty, Cadillac versus the Buick Regal. Grand National Regal. That was a little fancier one. Had the T-type. The Henderson family been around a while now, around the block of small tire racing. Chad himself, now his son, racing the other Buick here this weekend. Let's see how they do right here. 
Stevie Fast giving a little squirt of something in there just to make her wake up on the hit of the throttle. Here we go, Chad and J.R. Pines. J.R. Pines, the car's fast, man. Keep your eye on the Atlanta Georgia-based Cadillac. Rolls in. Buick's going to give him a run for his money here. Let's see. Sure did. Chad Anderson said, what? I got a field to plow. 405, 0, 184 miles per hour. The farmer is in, not a, well, he's in Adele now, but he'll be back here in Valdosta in a second. Yeah. Yeah, he said, well, all I want for my birthday is to go down the racetrack. 4050184. You. All right, so that'll bring uh, Andy Manson. Now, you see Kevin Bacon, PTP down there, tuning the number one qualified Mustang out of Manassas, Virginia. Number one in points, too, in the uh, radio outlaw category in this category of ODR. Now, they haven't made, they pushed it up earlier, right? They said, we're not beating it up. I don't know if it's the old hound dog trying to dig the hole and see if the oil comes up for Uncle Jed or what they're doing down there, but... We'll see what happens. Rob Globo ain't going to care. He's going for it, man. Highland, Michigan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see what? Barnhill's got tuned up here for the Manson ride. Coming off his uh, victory out at the Yellow Bull Nationals. The boost coming up on the DeSoma power here in the ride line. He's in. Here comes Galobo. Manson strikes the tires. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm not trying to take your tongue off the flypaper, but, man, what an upset. 422 takes out Andy Manson, number one qualifier. I right told you there. Globo wouldn't hang around. Patrick Barno, who raced with Globo for many a year, should know better. I'll tell you what, you should have put the, the wash machine carburetor on that car, Patrick. Hey, Patrick, when you get a second, you're done reading the track, could you do me a favor? Oh, Kevin, I mean, sorry, he forgets his name sometimes. Would you send me the name of that carburetor that was on your Nova when you were younger? The thing that looked like it was a Maytag washing machine. <laughs> All right, looking for all the. That's right, we need all of Ultra Street. Ultra Street, all of Ultra Street to lanes. No, no, no. 
No, Mike Washington. That's what you're called. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Thanks for the picture, Mike Washington, but that's not the carb I'm talking about. As soon as I get the name, I'll tell you, and you'll go, oh, yeah, one of those. Looked like a dominator, but it was huge. Once again, Patrick Barnhill, would you please send me the name of that carburetor, please? Thank you. Hey, it's Little Cox. What's up, dude? How are you, kid? All right, so remember up, if you've made it to the eight in your category, you will be doing a picture photo shoot very shortly after we get everyone down to eight. And it'll be in the back of the lanes here. And then because we've had some downtime, I don't think that the 440 or the 545 round that we said would be in. Legend has it, Marquise Hatton coming at you from Bikini Bottom. Left-hand side of the race, Shaq Nemesis looking to go rounds, carrying the uh, McCain camp. So, whoa, poof. It's just a drive-by. It's all right. Here we go. Next two cars coming to the starting line. Get ready. It's going to be our yellow machine. Catch up, catch up Marquise. 
Yes. We got ketchup and mustard. Where? Mustard in one lane oh, and you're ketchup right. in the it's other. It's an all-American yeah. Ford battle I right like here. I like it. Yeah. There we go. We're going to get back to on up here. Jason Hinkle, the car owner. They call it Nemesis. 1320X fabrication machine here in the left hand side. Holly EFI on board. You got Frankie Garano out there helping him out. Is uh, he going to have his pilot, that is Marquise, run the outlaw Josie Wales? Say, so look, you're going to drive my race car? I got you. I'll help you out. Josie out there sitting in the trailer, ready to go to war. Right hand side of the racetrack, number 11 qualifier, 424-6, 169 for Grady Underwood. Pretty even little matchup here. The turbo power of Underwood. Going to be coming forward, and we're going to see what happens. We've seen Black Plague strike the tire so far. Big Marquise has made it down every trip. Might even let Grady sit there for a second or two and think about it. Oh, Marquise back on it, staying ahead. Come on, Bob. Oh, no. Grady Underwood zips by him at the end. 585 to a 588. He just let out of the mile an hour, and that turbo made some steam. Jesse Coulter, Jesse Coulter. Jesse Coulter, come on the lanes. Jesse Coulter, the lanes. Now we got mayonnaise and mustard. Radio vs. the World, Radio vs. the World. Final eight, you're on standby for pictures. Radio vs. the World, final eight, you're on standby for pictures. Yeah. So we're going to see the white rice machine. Dubois owned hot rod, Eric Leferrier. Driven powerhouse racing, Tycon Industries, 2JZ power in the left lane. Right hand side, Sean Lyon. Lyon's. Pro Charge Power here in the right lane, coming forward, Panama City, Florida, and Rhode Island in Texas. The partnership there, he's in. They are gone there. Dewey, Bowie's machine, 421.5, oh, 180 in the heat of the day like it's nothing. Stick it up with your chest out there, boys. Yeah, how about it? Good for them, Eric and the company. Sean Line won't be too happy. Panama City, Florida, ready in down there at 1187, just coasting down there, probably talking to himself. Here comes the Chevrolet Nova of Kenny Hubbard out of Montgomery, Texas, in the far lane. That's a strange side of the racetrack, summit side. This is a great shot from Flow, Fuel Tech, the Battle of the Thorns right here. Ford versus Chevy, a GT500 Cobra will be here on the right side. So, uh, mirroring is there, it's fired up. So, I, I gotta ask you something there. So,
the Hearts Turbo Hot Rod here in the right-hand side of the racetrack, GT500. They're going to move them a little bit. They said, look, we're going to move them outside of the groove. We're going to try to find some sticky. And Cowboy said, yeah, that's what I would do. I'd do that. I'd tell Matt, move on over here to this side. Come on, Matt, move it on over. You're going to see the Asian orange machine of Kenny Hubbard. Left-hand side. He ready to go. Nizer power. Look Good at that. shot side by side. Kenny left second. Kenny wow. goes down to a, a, no, not a whole shot. No he, no, he didn't lose to a whole shot, but he got whole shotted. I mean, like he was sitting there waiting to throw the ball at the stuffed clown to get the balloon. But 072, 151. I mean, you soften it up a little bit to get it down the track, and then your opponent runs the best run of the weekend. Unreal. What a drag race, though. And I know what can happen here at South Georgia Motorsports Park, where you can be great friends with Raul Torres, the new owner, since July. Raul, we still... They still, they still brought Sydney back in, which is nice because it's always good to see the kid on the tractor or the blue truck show everybody that I got. You know what I'm saying? Go up with me. You know I'm on your team even though you box me around and throw me around. It doesn't matter. So it looks like uh, we're getting Ducky either pushed back, but I don't know if we're going to send him or if that. Nope, we're getting a single. Said number one. Oh, look at who it is there, my friend. Scott Parson, the car that doesn't look like it should go that fast. That car's cool, man. Got Charlie Buck power under the hood there. 632 cubes of NOS. Nitrous oxide assisted. Oh, listen to that. All right, so the next two, how about Ron? Ron needs to get one here, right in the bad way, in the right lane. He's like hit the tire, car doesn't want to run right. Chassis doesn't want to work right, right? Working right one time, 423-0173. Got him the number seven qualified shot from Townsend, Delaware. The Rhodes Custom Auto Machine. Now it's got a big block, used to have the small block, but hey, Eric Bischoff, responsible for uh, the horsepower there, BES. Engine services, Bischoff engine services. It's kind of like ATM machine, like, you know, it's Tony. It's Tony Bischoff. Oh, I man. said all the time, it's Eric Bischoff was the wrestler, you know, the wrestler. That's all right. We all. Was that the Crossface Crippler? Oh, there's been Wah. Who is Eric? All right. Well, with that battle, let's see this one. Frank Mushaw, been around for. Ever and he's a great drag racer, and I'm not going to go through his whole forum here. But the small block turboed 400 was taking on a man that, in any given day, can put the smack down on you. Here we go, Ron Rhodes. Man, I remember 
three generations. Little Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie dad. drives I was Grandpa's there when, car. I was there when Grandpa. Oh, no. He's gone. Oh, there was frustration. And there goes Frank Musha. Yeah, you could hear it. It was they were slowing it down. They were trying to get it moving before they poured the beans to it, and it. Uh... Deborah Fletcher happy with the performance there. Moses boys here <laughs> on the right hand side of the racetrack. Shane Moses. You're fine. It's okay. Athens, Tennessee. Yeah. Right hand side of the racetrack. John Davidson, Barrington, Kansas. Yes. So we got the big block, G body. And we got the small block, Fox body. It's a 302 cubic inch small block in the right lane. I don't think so. Lacquer's not bad, but I'll tell you what, Emron's better as they go right in. It's all water, but you got to get them VOCs. It's all water-based now. It's good for the inventor. Yeah? No respirator? I can tell. Shane Moses looking to go next round. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Thomas, the little blue Mustang, did. Shane Moses, he parted the way right there. 6.45 with a victory on the pedal fest right there. That'll bring up, oh, what a battle. Look at this. A Jeep and a Nova. And, man, a diesel and a bad-to-the-bone turbo car. This is something else. When you take out the soccer mom out of her truck and say, I'm borrowing it for the weekend, this is what you can get. This is Ryan Milliken. Milliken is the number one qualifier at 416. And the Chevrolet diesel powered, was this six or a four cylinder? So, this is, uh, it's gonna be interesting here because Milliken and company, this car uh, makes a just tremendous amount of torque see the wheel stand last time yeah well i think and you was... said that thing hardly ever gets that heavy diesel well, up in the air i mean if i was a if i was a betting man i would say they're probably trying to get some front end travel on that thing to try to get it moving so it don't knock the tire off so what do you gotta do you gotta loosen up the front end a little bit and the, on the other hand the jeep over there had problems in the right lane earlier Got into a little fluid or something. Yeah, so might be a little interesting shot here. This is going to be very, very interesting, and you're right. Because if the one goes to the air, he's going to get out of it because he don't want to put it up on that bumper or the wing on the back. And Chavez will start building boosts down there in the strange side of the racetrack and trying to make things happen here. Here we go. The Jeep. The Diesel Nova. What'd I say? Look at the diesel. Ah, 18 speed Try. Road Ranger. Hold on to get it in high gear. Look at this. Look at this. Got it. Oh, what a drag race. Did you see that 18 speed Road Ranger going to work in that diesel Nova? He was going through the gears, ripping it up. Young ladies, I know it's all about pushing buttons into the computer, but you just missed one of the coolest races ever. Yeah, he definitely right. hit the high There's speed. Hey, my man Daniel Pierce, the rest of the old diesel dummies out there from West Texas, they happy with that one. Yeah. 
Hey, Jimmy was ready. Ryan Milliken, he was like, okay, I'm ready to do this. And what now, a battle. I mean, that bear. was like, you know, we see a lot of pedal fest, especially sometimes when the sun comes out. Yeah. But that was like. That was fun because Jimmy was running, and no, there wasn't no way on that one. Ryan's like, I will put this thing he in the was. sand trap. He was headed. To. Ryan was headed to the pilot to fill yeah. that thing up. I'll yes, tell you some, what. That's some low sulfur diesel in that unit. I hope the DOT don't pull him over. Yeah, he, no, there's no red fuel in that thing. Here we go. Eric Moore coming up out of Sanger, Texas. Little X275 driver down there in Texas. Does a good job. He raises Pro Mod now. He just set the, like, the world record for a turbocharger in Northeast Pro Mod. He went like 234 mile an hour or something crazy. All right, listen up, RVW. RVW for your photo shoot. The eight cars left in RVW to the staging lanes, please. Here we go. Oh, man. Ooh, the Texans getting away with that one right there. 522.7. They said, all right, look, we got, we made it through the day. We're going to have some time for some pictures. That's going to eat up some time. And we coming back. The sun's going down on my side of town. It's going to go fast. So we need RVW, the eight cars in RVW that is left to the back of the staging lanes for the photo shoot, please. Now, you got to think all the Ultra Street drivers are like, okay, we, we got to do something here. We got to get it. We got to get it moving. We got to get the front end. We got to get some travel. Some of these limited street cars are like, look, man, we might be all right here. We ain't trying to go 460. We're trying to go like 5.0s.